According to data, 78% of Ghanaians are deficient in vitamin A. And this is why a specially created version of sweet potato has been put on the market. This is no other than the orange flesh sweet potato. We are currently at Elmina where we are going to engage with a farmer who specializes in the production of this sweet potato variety. Do stay with us on AgriConnect as we bring you this interesting and new discussion. Do stay with us. Um, can you please introduce yourself? My name is Frank Kobrandangwa, mm. a farmer mm-hmm. at Abena, mm-hmm. in the Emina Kiyi municipality. So, interestingly, there are so many ventures you could have gone into. Why do you opt for the orange flesh sweet potato? I was suffering from, or I'm suffering from pressure. Oh, okay. And I was introduced to that. Right. Variety by a friend mm. who said it can kill the, 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 the pressure. Pressure. On oh, okay. So, in fact, I started consuming some and I realized it was helpful. So, I asked him to give me the vine so that I can try myself. Oh, wow. So, I started trying, trying to um, consume it. Consume it alongside oh. planting some. Okay. So, when I started planting, I realized no, this thing can help me. But I'm a civil servant. Mm. Also, you know, Ghana. You have to get something alongside yes. your salary. So I started planting commercial business, and it was a help to me. Mm. I'm also into um, small scale poultry farming. Oh, okay. So what I, I intended doing then was I do it around August, September, so that when I harvest them, I use the proceeds to feed my broilers, broilers. in the December uh, production. Period. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. That's quite interesting. Okay, so now let's look at the orange flesh sweet potato. You realize that um, our conventional sweet potato that we are used to, what's the difference between the two? What makes the orange flesh sweet potato superior to what we originally have? Uh, what I can say is uh, uh, it's medicinal. Mm. And at the same time, it's a food. Um, um, and I say you can eat for so many things. Mm-hmm. Um, there is a there is this uh, um, 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 a factory around Guinea Bar that's Casa de Rupa. Mm-hmm. I visited the place and the man was telling me they can use the orange potato for so many other things. Mm. Above the consumption, you can use it for bread, even mosquito quail, mm. noodles, so many things. So I can say, uh, uh, comparatively, and it also has nutritional benefits. Benefits. Mm-hmm. So you're not just consuming. Just for uh, so consuming yes, sticking though. It comes with, with so many. Oh, that's right. Oh, oh. That's right. So let's say I want to venture into the um, the sweet potato, orange flesh sweet potato production. Mm. What are some of the things I should look out for? So let's let's even look at land preparation. Mm. What what type of land is suitable for growing the orange flesh sweet potato? One 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 thing I've read is every land that you can use for production of cassava, normal potato, you can use it for. Orange sweet potato. Mm. Okay. So, uh, how how is it going? Land preparation, in terms of land preparation. Normal normal land preparation. You prepare your land. You read. Uh-huh. You prepare your land. You read your mouth. You go for your vans. You cut them. You start planting. Okay. Uh, some people use their round mouth, but okay. I prefer using the long ones. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Right. So I, why do you prefer the long ones? I prefer using prefer the long ones mm-hmm. when they. The potatoes are stretching. Uh-huh. Whatever the the root touches, uh-huh. another uh, 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 potato germinates from there. Oh really? Uh-huh. Oh wow! So I don't get only from the base. Yes, you but get along from... the that's right. Oh, okay. That's why I like okay. the, the 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 long uh, mouth. So you, it brings more yield. That's right. Okay, all right. So let's look at the um, preparation the of the mouth. mouth. Ah, so this is my my, my prepared land. So I'm yeah. going to raise the mouth. Raise the mouth. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Oh, see, there's some already. Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so now what next? After after preparing the mouth. The mouth, then it cuts your vines. Okay, can we cut some of yes. the vines? Okay, so it means you 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 also have to make sure that the land is well tilled. That's right. So that water can, and nutrients. Yes, that's can. right. That's okay. right. That's All right. right. So this is my vine. Mm -hmm. I have to cut them to produce that I can plant more. Mm -hmm. So this is the eye. Mm -hmm. So definitely means okay. So one thing I've also realized is that after planting, there's also recycling because it's right. the same. That's right. Okay. That's right. That's right. Okay. So it's right. the initial production that's the moment fresh. you are done, then you can recycle that's what right. you have. That's okay. right. So these are the eyes of the eyes. vine. Uh -huh. So you cut it under the eyes. Under the eyes. Okay. It depends. Whatever you cut it, it will germinate. It will germinate. Uh -huh. okay. But remember, it's otherwise we cut under the eye. Why? Why do you cut under the eye? Because the leaves, the roots will come from. Under the, the okay, That's under right. the eye. That's okay. right. All right. And sometimes two to three apart Before or in between the okay. eye, then you cut. Oh, okay. So this one, two, two. three. Okay. So we cut here. Okay. One, two, one, three. Two, three. Cut. So this one two three. Cut. Okay. One, two, three. Cut. Okay. Okay, so one vine can produce a lot of a potatoes. A lot of potatoes. That's right. Oh, wow. That's right. Okay. And we're going to Okay. Okay. So now we want to plant. Yes, some. we want to plant yes. some to show people how to. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm using the long. Mm -hmm. uh, so with this, mm -hmm. it's not that big. Yes, so okay. I'm going to use to uh, plant it two, two. Okay, two, two. Okay, okay. Uh, and then what's the spacing like? I just. Give a uh, space for it for the tubers to just sprout. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. So we're going to start planting our. So you see, if you are interested in planting, come to the person who is knowledgeable on this venture, so that you can learn based on fresh experience, and then you'll be able to reap the best from it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it goes like this. Uh -huh. Make sure the 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 eye goes down. The eye goes down. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. If, yeah, because you mentioned you tell, that if it you grows it, from the the root, yeah. the root generates from the eye. eye. So if you turn it, it can't. Oh, okay. Okay. But if you turn it this way, uh -huh. it can't. Okay. Okay. Because the root has to germinate from the mm, under from the, the eye. eye. Okay. That's right. Okay. So those are the base. Oh, this is the, where the eye is. Where mm. the where the root will come root from. Root will come. Uh huh. So I plant this. This mm. this. Okay. Uh -huh. There's another one here. Then another one here. Okay, so like this, is this okay? Or the space down small. Okay. This uh -huh. is okay. Okay. This so is okay. okay. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. Come, okay. come, come, come up small. Come okay. up, up, so, up a bit. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Like this. Okay. So when I'm done planting, hmm. what next? Um, that I don't use fertilizer. Normally, I I, I normally use um, um manure. That is manure. um. Dropping from my pottery, pottery mm -hmm. yes, to apply that. I don't use chemical fertilizers. Mm -hmm. I use organic fertilizer. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, so um, when let's say you are done planting, mm -hmm. what are some of the practices you should uh, employ on the farm to ensure that your sweet potatoes grow very well? Mm, I think after planting, it will start germinating. When it starts germinating, automatically there will be leaves. Mm -hmm. So when you see that the, uh, the leaves are growing, just the amount of Roots, I mean, the roots, the yes, amount of um, uh, are putting the roots from the mouth, and it will get a time that they will get so the, the, um, the potato will grow so plenty, mm -hmm. so you have to bring them on top, okay, okay, on top, you fold them on the mouth, okay, okay, you try to, to fold conserve them. the water, or not, not uh, 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 that's one aspect, but the very, the very, the very essence of planting is to get more um, uh, potatoes. potatoes, so when they stretch too much. The the how do I put it? The it doesn't have to stretch too much. It should be on top of mm. the of the of the of the mouth so that you can get the yield that you are looking for. Okay, so that uh -huh. is one of the best practices. That's you right, have to make right. sure that the leaves are covering 
the mouth, mouth and not spread them spreading. apart. Right. Okay, like okay. Better, better product. Better product. Yeah, that's okay. right. All right. Before right. we even continue, are there different varieties of the orange flesh sweet potato? Or for now, there's only one variety? For now, that's what I'm, 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 okay. I'm, I'm planting. There's for only now, one variety. But I understand the there are other, other varieties. Mm, of the uh, orange flesh sweet potato. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. other okay. Other, other, okay. But I don't, I'm mm. not using this one. This I'm one. still this one. Okay. Right. Yes. Okay. So, so far, you have been planting this for a while. Are there some diseases that spread on the farms? Or what are some of the innovative ways you use to ensure that your potatoes come out as you want them to? Normally, normally these insects are the main uh, thing that affect them. When I, when I see that the insects are infesting them, you know, matter of, I find normal ash on the farm mm. and they will just vanish. Oh, wow. Uh, normal ash. Normal ash. Oh, normal okay. kitchen ash. So you use organic products, organic things products. around you. That's right. I don't, I don't use chemicals oh, wow. at all. No, okay. because I consume them myself. Mm -hmm. Because of my pressure that I told you, I wasn't doing to to that because of the pressure. So I don't want to go into chemicals. No, okay. no. All right. Yes. So now let's look at before anybody ventures into any form of agriculture, mm. they look at the profitability. Mm. Is this a profitable venture? It should be. I don't put it that way. It should be a profitable venture. But it's in our in new. our in our part of the world, you know, mm. people are not. People don't know much about it. Mm -hmm. So, though, though the, 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 the market is there, uh, it's not encouraging, but we are managing. Yeah, managing. It's not bad. Okay. No, okay. It's not bad. Okay. So, bad. Um, let, let's, let's take um, a look at the value chain. Mm. You said, first off, you said they can be processed in so many things. Mm. Yes. And then you mentioned Casa de Ropa. So, what are some of the known products that they recycle the uh, orange flesh sweet potatoes into? Mm. I know of our normal Tom Brown. Tom Brown. Yes. Wow. You can add it to these wheat, uh, millet. To, to making to prepare, Tom Brown. To prepare Tom Brown. Wow. Mm. And you can add it to cassava to, be, Make Gary. to prepare Gary. Mm -hmm. And I was even told people are using it for our local kinky. But I forgot. Yes. I don't know how, how mm -hmm. they go about it. But I understand wow. people are doing that. Mm. Because of all the health benefits, benefits that they know. Yes. Okay. So now let's look at some of the practices when it comes to even harvesting some of the sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. How do you go about it? So can you take us through a demonstration of the harvesting okay. process? So this is ready for harvesting. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's ready. I want to harvest. So... What are some of the challenges that you face so far as an orange flesh sweet potato farmer? You know, our part of the world, irrigation is not uh, that much practiced here. Mm. So we solely depend on the rain. The rain water. So if it doesn't rain, you can't have a problem. Mm. So okay, so looking at the irrigation issues, what are some of the so what are the seasonalities? When should I plant the orange flesh sweet potato? What um, is the best time? The best time I would advise May, June and August, September. Okay. And how long will it take for it to be ready? Oh, two and a half months. Two and a half months? Yes. Wow. Two, two and a half two months. Two and a half months. Well, then it's actually very fast. Because these ones, I planted them in August. And we are in October. October. September, October. Wow. I thought I'd rent August 15th. We are now in October ending. Oh, wow. So two months. Okay. It's only two, two and a half months. Two um, months. Yeah, I'm harvesting. Yeah, harvesting. Okay. So what are some of the other issues? Uh, marketing. Marketing. Uh -huh. Marketing. Because if you imagine, you will struggle and do this and after, after harvesting them, there's no market for it. But it discourages them. I think it's because it is new. A lot of people don't even know about maybe, this. Maybe. Yes, maybe. Yes. Because I, I haven't maybe. seen some on the market myself. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Maybe. And, yeah. and I understand if I, it cures uh, diabetes. Mm hmm. Thank you, David. And so, even vitamin A blindness, you right. said old age blindness, okay. they can cause. Okay. They can cure. So, uh, what's the, um, um, yeah. uh, uh, what, what is it, what's the name? Uh, right. And then finally, do you have any um, words for individuals who might be interested in venturing into um, maybe any agricultural field, but I don't know what to, and also individuals who might not even be aware of that there is a variety like the like orange flesh sweet potato? Oh, okay. I would advise people, especially the youth. You see, some of us, I'm working you know, apart from doing the farming work. You have your I'm college job, five seen, college jobs. Seen, but I have the passion for farming, so, and it helps. Apart from the mere gas oil that I've been saving, you know, this one, you will be there, you sell one bag, we'll give you something small. 
And do so, something you can even do at, at your backyard, even in your it. house, in buckets. That's right. Without necessarily. Yeah, even even in sacks. Sacks. If you're not lazy, see. In fact, it's very difficult raising them. That would be, I must be honest. I must be honest with you. But there's nothing cheap in this under the earth. If you mean to do it, you can do it. It's very good. Apart from yeah. the nutritious aspect of it, mm. uh, you can give some money. You know, mm. so I think other people to go into. Okay. It's not bad. Okay. It's not bad. Mm. I'm not you. regretted going to. Oh, wow. I've never regretted. Apart from going with myself. And it's also for your own health That's benefits. Right. That's right. That's okay. right. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's very good. Thank you uh, very much. You're welcome. Okay. welcome. We welcome. hope that next time, by the time we come, we will be on a bigger scale That's right. and we'll be teaching That's so right. many people. That's okay, true. so uh-huh, before we even go, if let's say there's somebody who has recently heard of the orange less sweet potato, mm. you have the experience. Mm. If you are interested in coming to learn, are your doors open? Wide open. Tell them. Okay. Wide open. Especially the youth. The youth. Well, not exactly. mm-hmm. They should venture. Uh-huh. Mm. Okay. All too soon, we've come to the end of this episode of AgriConnect, where we've been looking at the orange flesh sweet potato, the nutritious benefits, as well as some of the best practices when it comes to venturing into this field. My name is Anna Ismambasam. Until we meet again, do stay well. Yes.